you cannot hear me okay well there is an there is a emergency announcement we have just decided to extend the conference by another two days <laughs> free of cost yes we'll be hosting everyone here so for the next two days you are all logged in here and i hope uh, that we have more more such interactions okay i think i have your attention now uh, so thanks uh, how how has how has been the last four days there well, why don't we do a show of uh, Fist of five and see how it goes there, right? So at the count of three, show how many fingers. Don't show the finger that really matters the most. But show, show how many fingers uh, and, and let's have a fist of five vote, right? So if it was like super duper awesome, open, your, open up your hand and say all the five. And then in that order, let's do that. So how about that? Let, let's do that uh, on the count of three. One, two, three. Awesome, I see most of them are fourths and fives. So let's give, give a big round to, uh, to the team that's done that. And I think I, I want to thank all of you for staying. I know it's been four long days. This is like the weekend is uh, just all over us. Uh, but I just want to use this opportunity for the next 10 minutes or so to basically uh, hear back, back from you. What do you think happened? How was it? Uh, how can we do it better? Uh, what are some of the key things that we missed out? What were the biggest screw-ups that we should avoid in the future? So uh, I would like to, uh, to, on behalf of the team, uh, to listen from you and really get some of the feedbacks from all of you. The first, okay, thank you. Uh, can we have a hand uh, microphone, please? Thank you. Uh, just to point out, it's been an awesome few days. Uh, but I think for an Agile conference, it would be exceptionally valuable for us as attendees, but also for the conference organizers to, at the end of each session, for feedback, the opportunity to provide feedback, if that would have been available. Okay, that's... It's been okay. mentioned a few things. Okay. That's a fair point. It's just that we, uh, we chose a different format for that. Uh, so you'll actually be getting a mail from Naresh uh, for, for all the people who came here will be getting a mail from Naresh, like we have done in the last three years. Uh, you will have a chance to comment on each of the sessions and uh, we typically uh, share that with the speakers as well on how bad the marks they got or how good it was for them. But yes, point taken. Uh, at this point, the process we are following is at the end of the day, we'll collect it all. And we use that data to actually uh, filter through uh, and, and see if, if, if there might be some speakers who just didn't cut the ice with the audience. And we tell them regretfully and say, hey, okay, uh, we'll, we'll probably not be able to entertain you next time. But that's just the Darwin at work for us. Thank you. Thank you. A any other things? Anything else that you feel? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, for some sessions, there was not sufficient time for question and answers. OK. Uh, so the presenter was rushing through because of the time pressure. OK. And yeah, it's expected that you meet him offline and ask questions. but. Sometimes, if it goes through a discussion and, and in the same context, that would help. So actually, I mean, just, just to give set a context, the way we set the context with all the speakers was, you have 45 minutes, try and complete session in 25 to 30 minutes so that you have 15 minutes of Q&A time. What, what tends to happen is many of us, I know I'm guilty of that, many of us use up all that 45 time and any Q&A happens over and above that 45 minutes which is not really the desired uh, way, way of doing things. And then we eat, start eating into the next presenter. So, so clearly, uh, we, we need to do a better job of communicating to the presenters uh, that they need to stick to the time uh, and uh, do that. Uh, but I mean, just, just, as a, just as a communication, we do make sure that the presenters are aware of that. OK. Yeah, one thing I would add. Uh, so there was some constructive feedback there, but in terms of good feedback, is that it was great to see the conference organizers give the scaled agile framework uh, an opportunity to showcase uh, what it's all about. Uh, so, and, and it was also really encouraging to see from a lot of the speakers and the attendees that people, there's the common message is uh, understand the problem you're trying to solve. So people are just looking at where they currently are and uh, just trying to resolve those issues. So it was, it was really encouraging to see that from the attendees and from a lot of the speakers. Well, thanks for your kind feedback. Um, yeah, first of all, I think 
the experience uh, I had over two days of uh, attending this conference was fantastic. I mean, the overall arrangement and the quality of some of the speakers was very, very good. There were many uh, wow moments for me. Um, having said that, there were few sessions that I attended where I felt uh, the, the, the preparation of the, the presenters could have been much better because they were taking a lot of time, almost using almost all their time to get to the point of their uh, discussion and in the process were potentially losing out the interest of the participants. Uh, that's one uh, feedback to some of the speakers. And the other thing from the organizing committee viewpoint, I think it would be great if we can, given the scale of this conference, given the kind of people that get attracted to this conference, it would be great if we can do a little bit more scrutiny into choosing uh, the session content uh, and helping these speakers prepare much better. Uh, something for us to consider for the next year uh, conference. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I will not defend that thing, uh, e even though just to, just to uh, let you know, what we did was we actually uh, invited all the suggestions from the various speakers, uh, wherever they had any uh, evidence of prior work, for example, somebody has already talked at some of the conferences, we said, hey, why don't you, why don't you share some of the YouTube videos with us, or you, you let us know how you speak, how do you really come across, are you a very natural speaker, uh, and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, in rest of the cases, we actually uh, tried to have a, a video conversation, a Skype, a, or, or some such kind of a thing there. Uh, and, and we believe that we did whatever best we could do at this point in time. Clearly, some of the things did pass through, probably, uh, that, that we need to uh, work on. Uh, but like I said, please give that feedback specifically. It's not a, there's nothing wrong about really telling somebody that, hey, you, you didn't really come out, come out very well there. I know some people told me, you didn't come across very well. And I said, well, I've been traveling for the last 48 hours. That's the best I could have done, actually. But uh, I mean, arguments apart or, or, or an excuse apart, we all need to be, to be in a position to take it with humility and, and, and move on with that, right? So uh, we'll give you a chance so that you can let us know which speakers really didn't cut, in, cut any eyes with the audience. So let us know about that. Sure, thanks. Yeah, Nikhil. I would also like to, uh, I would request uh, Ravi and Ellen uh, and, and if other chairs are here to come and join me. Help me, help me please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Maybe and after this, set, after this question. Sure. Uh, okay, uh, so I, I just wanted to uh, say that there were few cancellations during the day, right? So few speakers maybe couldn't travel because of last minute constraints and stuff. Okay. Like that. So it would help if uh, all of the other speakers who were presenting on the same day, if they get notified of, of you know, having this, maybe an extra session. Uh, because they, I mean, I certainly had few content that I could have presented on the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, only if I had known that there was another spot available per se. But okay. Yes, right. Uh, so maybe can we do something similar for next year that at least the people who are presenting on that day, um, they get an instant notification on maybe an SMS or something like that uh, if yeah. there are things like, you know, cancelled sessions or extra opportunities. I, I like the idea. I think it's a great idea for us to, to keep uh, some of the uh, slots in reserve and let you guys know. It could probably be some kind of a uh, alert service that's, that goes, hey, one of the slots is up for take. Anybody who's ready, uh, we would like to just, just talk to us. Uh, Naresh, maybe we can talk about that. Uh, why don't you come here, Naresh? Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just wanted to appreciate, sorry. Uh, just wanted to appreciate the uh, networking opportunities which were made. Um, each session was followed by a reasonable uh, amount of break uh, with tea and coffee. Uh, so that allowed a lot of good connections to have for us to connect with new people and to reconnect with people we uh, met earlier. Um, so that I found very uh, useful. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, uh, first of all, I would like to thank for arranging this uh, event. It was uh, really a nice experience. Uh, I had, uh, I just want to know one thing, how uh, we conclude on the topics of for the each day. So are we collecting the inputs from uh, the previous uh, attendees, uh, what are the topics they want to hear and such kind of things or it is decided on what basis because it would be great uh, to know from the audience what is their expectation and then uh, sort out the uh, 
sessions. So, so I'll, I'll take that. Uh, so basically, we start the whole selection process. So all the talks that you see here, majority of the talks, except the invited talks, are through an open submission system. So people go in, propose a topic, and then there is a voting system which people go and vote for the talks. And then the talks that show up uh, with highest votes, not necessarily every talk that shows up with highest votes gets selected, but that's an indicator for us that people are interested in those topics. And then we evaluate the speaker. So there is a, there's a big team of people, uh, reviewers, which evaluate the speakers in terms of their past speaking experience, uh, the content, the quality of the content. And that process goes on for about three, four months. It, yeah. it, a long time. And a long really time, long. basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, lots of sleepless yeah. nights, uh, lots of long calls, lots of discussions. Uh, and yeah. then th the talks get selected based on that. Mm -hmm. uh, if we take feedback from this year, our way of taking feedback is whenever sessions are going in, all of us are popping into sessions constantly. So A, we get our own in, in pulse on how the session is. Second, we look at, we talk to people in the hallways, how's the session going for you, which session stood out for you, which sessions did not work very well for you. And we collect that you know, first-hand information from people. If we see a pattern, then we know, okay, these set of speakers uh, are really doing good, and these set of speakers, maybe they need more help, right? So that's kind of the thought process that goes through behind the selection. Uh, no matter what we do, I'll tell you, no matter what we do, because we've been doing this for 10 years, no matter what we do, any conference, there will be three categories of speakers. One which will rock facing all of that for, <laughs> from us. You're welcome. we glad to be here. I think TV and uh, even Ravi, uh, Doc is not here, I believe, but uh, Doc also had to let go some of the people. And it's actually really hard to, to send that message to especially volunteers, right? Because it's not like you're paid to, to, to do this job, right? It's, it's like I'm a volunteer, and I will contribute whatever I can contribute. You cannot demand certain things from us. Uh, but. We had to take those hard calls, and I appreciate these guys for standing by those decisions. Pramod is not here. Pramod had to leave. Uh, I cannot tell you how many nights Pramod and I have been you know, working, uh, trying to do the final touches and all of that stuff. And he's been a fantastic support in actually helping get all of these things together. I have very short temper, as people who know me. Uh, I, I lose my patience very quickly. So there was a point when I told Pramod, you basically deal with people. I cannot deal with people. <laughs> and, and Pramod would basically, you know, so he's like the perfect partner for me in terms of, you know, help, helping working with the team and making sure things moved. He shows a lot more patience than I have. So appreciate Pramod as well. He's not here, but if you guys see him next time, please do thank him. Thanks everyone, thanks for making it a great conference and uh, safe travels to all the people who are going back home. Uh, have a nice weekend and uh, let us know with your feedback. Uh, tweet us if we have been good, private mail if we have not been so good. <laughs> <laughs> but please let us know how we have been. So thanks a lot everyone and have a great evening. Yeah, we, we have the art event that happened. Uh, we still don't have uh, Richard and Nag and team who did this. Uh, they've gone to Mysore and they were supposed to be here by four, uh, but they're not yet here. Uh, so we're going to be dismantling this. Uh, I don't know what exact plan they had, but I'm just going to improvise and say, uh, oh, oh, I'll give it to you. I was just going to say, all I know was the plan was to dismantle the piece and to break the artwork into smaller components so that if people wanted to take a piece of it home, they could take it home as a memento of the conference. So I think that's still what we should do. The, the sort of the question is how small the pieces. Uh, well, I think Richard's idea actually was to cut it into much smaller pieces, but. I don't know how many people want to carry, yeah. so based on that, we could decide if we need to cut or they can. Exactly, exactly. And you can. <laughs> no, I'm not going once, going twice. Excellent. Going twice. And you can always take pictures of the whole thing. So. If people want to take pictures before it's gone, please do that. And then I think yeah. feel free to just pick what you like yeah. and take it back home. Uh, bring and it back 
next year. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is uh, 